Hello Taurus, welcome to a special bonus reading. This is going to be a reading all about messages from spirit for the next six months. So the rest of 2020, 2021, <laughs> uh, what is time? Uh, this is going to be a reading where I'm going to ask spirit what messages they have for you. It's meant to be short and sweet, so we're just going to jump right in. Of course, it's a general reading Taurus, so please take what resonates, what applies for you. Um, check out your moon and rising as well if you'd like to see what other messages there are for you. And let's see. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages for Taurus, please, for the next six months. What message do you have for Taurus for the next six months? What does Taurus need to know? The Taurus Collector. Sorry. What do they need to know for the next six months? What messages do you have for them? Okay, we have Clean It Up. What else? What else? What else for Taurus? Oop. What messages do you have for Taurus spirit at this time? If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, leaving a comment, um, saying hi. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to know about my personal readings and my book and my website, all of that is in the description box. All right, so we got guardian angel. So you're definitely, there's somebody watching over you. There's somebody that I feel is helping you clean it up. Um, number 21. So this is about time to clean house. Every item out of place natters away at you. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack takes up energetic space. Now is the time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. So yeah, there's definitely an energy here about needing to clean something up, letting go of um, negative energy, anything that is holding you back. So let's see. Spirit messages for Taurus, please. What does Taurus need to know for the next six months for the next six months for Taurus. What do they need to know, Spirit? Okay, let's see. We have Justice, Ten of Swords, and the Hierophant. Well, there you are, uh, Taurus, showing up to your own reading. We also have Justice, Libra, Energy, and then the Ten of Swords. So definitely an ending of a cycle is going to be happening here um, for the next six months, Taurus. Something is completing. This might be a difficult ending for some of you, but I feel it's, it's the right ending with Justice. This could be a legal batter, battle or something official, something with like a government building or like an official decision being made here, like a final decision especially with Justice and Hierophant. Um, so if some of you have been in some sort of legal, um, I don't know, case or something where maybe you're waiting back from an official building of some sort, maybe this is gonna be coming to an end soon. I feel like others of you, this could be the end of a commitment. So a divorce, I do see that here for some of you. So let's see, let's get some insight. Tell me about Justice. Why is justice here? The Empress. Wow, the Empress keeps coming up for Taurus. In my other readings, um, I've gotten that the Empress for you. And then we have the Eight of Swords. I feel that there's fear here. Overthinking. Maybe you are worried about the conflict you're experiencing or the future. But I feel like this is going to be a good decision for you. I see you being okay with the Empress. It's almost like maybe if this is like a court battle, you win, for example. Even though you were afraid. Tell me more about justice. One more, please. 
the moon, Pisces energy. Yeah, I feel like there's some um, doubt here uh, of the unknown. Maybe you are unsure, uncertain about the future, uncertain about how things are going to play out for you. I feel like Spirit is saying not to worry. I get this energy of, you know, you are protected. You have a guardian angel. And I feel like you're going to be you're going to be okay. Some of you are worried about money. Okay, I have the 5 of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please. What's this Ten of Swords about? Where's the Ten of Swords here? Two of Wands. Yeah, it's almost like this ending is going to open up a path. There will be a decision you will have to make about the path that you're going to take from like after this takes place. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. This one. Ten of Cups. Wow. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be okay, Taurus. I feel like this is meant to be uh, dealt with, cleaned up, removed from your life. Um, Nine of Cups. Look at that. Yeah. You're going to be very happy. You're going to be, your wish is going to be fulfilled here. Um, but I do have the Eight of Cups. So yes, it's like you have to walk away from something, leave something behind to get your wish. And I feel like this is a journey that only you can take on, like by yourself. Tell me about the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant, please. For Taurus. The chariot cancer energy yeah there's some sort of move that you need to make this could be um, like actual traveling here or uh, driving somewhere tell me about the higher font seven of wands there's some obstacle here um, with the Eight of Swords, well, especially with the Justice card. I feel like something's being made right and, you know, it'll be in your favor, whatever this is. But it's because something wasn't in your favor or something wasn't quite right here. Tell me about the Hierophant. It's like I, I see someone really fighting for something, like fighting for their independence, fighting for respect. I feel like this is a situation where you just dream about getting away or you imagine getting away in this chariot and not have to deal with this. Tell me about the higher font. The tower. Yeah, this is definitely something coming to an end here, Taurus. Bottom of the deck, I have the high priestess. Intuitively, you know this is what has to happen. Um, I feel like yeah, the magician. I feel like there's something that you'll be able to make happen here. But I don't know, you know, there's an uncertainty about the future. But I feel like Spirit is saying, don't worry about it. Yes, it's going to be difficult with the Ten of Swords, the Tower. Um, yes, there's going to be a lot of unknowns. But go ahead anyway. Move forward anyway. Clean it up anyway. Okay. Let's ask Spirit for some guidance. For any guidance, final messages, guidance for Taurus. Any final messages for Taurus? Any guidance? Final messages, please, for Taurus for the next six months. Oh. Okay, we have summer. So something's probably going to start right now. Can I get one more, please, for Taurus? Or is un is a, is a what's the word? progressing, developing in the summer time. What else for Taurus for the next six months? Okay, we have good news is on the way. Yeah, I feel like there's something, you know, if you've been battling something, fighting for something, I feel like Spirit is going to be helping you with this. Um, bottom of the deck, you deserve more. That's for sure. All right, Taurus, this is what I have for you for the next six months. Um, I hope that this resonated for you. I hope that this 
was helpful. Let me know in the comments if it did resonate, if you claimed this reading. Um, are you looking forward to ending a situation or do you know in the back of your mind that this is something that you feel called towards? Um, are you waiting for good news? Because I feel like it's coming. Um, don't forget to check out my description box and hit the like if you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to also check out your playlist. It's in, listed in the description box. I have many more readings there for Taurus that are specifically for your sign. Thank you so much for watching Taurus. I appreciate all of the support, the likes, the comments, the subscribes. Thank you so much. It does not go unnoticed, especially when people take the time out of their day to be kind. And um, hopefully I will see you in another video very soon. Take care.